What's going on everybody? I thought I'd record a video, probably going to be a time lapse because I don't want to talk all through this whole project, but I am about to attempt to build a um, QRP guys iambic paddle with a base. I've got it in my uh, vise here, i got the soldering iron warmed up, and hopefully it goes well. So without further ado, let me get this time lapse started now. Here we are in a moment of truth. Um, as a proof of concept, I went ahead and um, got an Altoids tin. I've got a, a bunch of these laying around that are empty. I use them for multiple things. I got a Ranger band on there. Take the Ranger band off. And let's see. And look at that. Look how perfect this thing fits in here. And it's just enough at the top that it really doesn't slide around. You can't, it's, it's not sliding in there at all. So there's enough um, tension that it just sticks above just enough that the lid catches it. And I guess I had a, if I had a small enough cord, it would probably fit in there. I opted to put the jack on and not the hardwired cables because uh, this adds a little bit more portability to it. Um, uh, I don't know, good or bad. I guess if that went bad when you're out in the field, you would be without a key. But, you know, it is what it is. So here's a jack for it, and it goes in. Right there, fits perfect. This was, I had, luckily had this laying around. I think it went to some photography lighting system I had. Um, the right size jack, it's uh, probably about three or four feet long so it's a little bit long for, for, for whatever um, but I'm not too concerned about that right now and another thing that I did do uh, I'll tell you this though the, the, the biggest pain I did a time lapse of this so I'll, I'll, I'll include that in this video at some point probably before you're seeing this um, if you don't have a set of tweezers to hold these little lock washers and these nuts in here it's going to be a royal pain in the third point of contact uh, these uh, posts were a little difficult to get in without tweezers uh, but for the most part it was just you just had to take your time and, and um, um, not get frustrated and another thing I noticed that the um, the, uh, the rubber uh, sleeves that go on here that they supply are really thick and it didn't allow any movement um, under the board it was binding up so what I did was just cut some heat shrink and slid it over there so they're insulated now but they're not um, grabbing the board they move a lot uh, more freely under there um, but other than that it was um, fairly simple to do if you know anything about soldering or um, looks like I may have missed a spot right there I can go back and get that it's no big deal it's, it's easy to get to but some of these places are hard to get to so if you forget the solder in there and there you're you'll be in a world of hurt and because I know that because because I did it I forgot to solder that inside one right there but I have a really small soldering tip that I swapped out and did that like I said, all this is on a time lapse, but it's pretty quick, and I'm not sure if I can slow it down. So anyway, without further ado, let's see what we can do with this. So I've got uh, my ICOM IC703. As you can see, it's in, the break-in is off, so it's not going to transmit. And uh, let's turn the volume on and see what it does. i got to set for 12 words a minute. There it goes. And uh, I'm, I'm just learning uh, Morse code, so um, bear with me on this. Let's see if I can do a CQ with my call sign. See, I didn't hit it all the way at this one. We tried that again. Oh well. So anyway, this is the very spring is hard to getting used to, uh, as opposed to like this MSJ paddle. It's it's. It's, um, it's a lot easier to use right there, but uh, for what this is, it's, it's not bad. It's portable. You don't have to worry about lugging this big heavy thing around, and it's not the weight that would concern me. I'm not, I'm not doing any, you know, 
20 mile hikes with something like this in my pack. It probably weighs two or three pounds, but this is pretty delicate. I mean, you see it just springs and these little um, pivot points just holds this together. And if you tear that up, forget it. This is very simple. It's very, very affordable. What is it, 15 or 20, 25 dollars at that? Um, comes all the parts come together in it. You just got to have a soldering iron, a little bit of a uh, little bit of skill, not a lot. And um, you know, like I said, uh, it fits right in here in this little Altoids pin, and you put it in there and you don't have to worry about it, and this doesn't weigh hardly anything. And the, um, I'm not sure I could, might be able to get this um, uh, this cable in there too. It's pretty big, pretty long, so I'm not sure. But we'll um, we'll give it a shot real quick. It's a lot of cable. I can either I don't need to shorten this or, or get another one, one of the two. I don't know if it's gonna fit. But yeah, I'm uh, I'm impressed with this uh, QRP kit, honestly, and um, I would definitely uh, purchase another kit from them if I'm so inclined to 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 have another one of their products. Uh, the instructions are not designed for to teach you how to solder or how to how, teach you how to. Um, yeah, it's kind of big to put in there. I don't know if it'll fit or not. I don't want to force it. So it's a little bit longer of a cable. A little shorter cable would be perfect in there. But yeah, they're not designed to teach you how to, to, to be an electronics tech or to teach you how to solder. But um, if, you, if you've if you ever soldered, actually soldered two wires together and you got a soldered iron, I, I'd say go for it. What are you out, $15? And you're not going to, if you break it, you're doing something extremely wrong. So anyway, that's it for the QRP iambic paddle kit. And I'll see you guys next time.